This video is about moles. Um, moles are a unit in chemistry and the relative formula mass of a compound in grams equals one mole. So one mole is the relative formula mass in grams which is one mole. For example if we wanted to know one mole of H2SO4 we'd work out the relative formula mass which would which we would do using our data sheet to find the masses of the individual elements the H for hydrogen, S for sulfur and O for oxygen. We would write down the elements that we've got so H, S and O we've got two H's, one S and four oxygens and using the masses on the periodic table we can see that we've got 2 times 1 which is 2 1 times 32 which is 32 and 4 times 16 which is 64 adding those all up we've got 60, 90, 6, 98 so that's how we calculate the relative formula mass. Um, I did that very quickly, so if you need to catch up on that, you can watch the video on relative formula mass. But all a mole is, is the relative formula mass in grams. So just by sticking a G for grams on the end, you know that one mole of H2SO4 is 98 grams. So from that you can work out what 2 moles would be worth, 3 moles, 4 moles, 0.5 moles, etc. just by timesing it. So 0.5 moles of H2SO4. If you had that question, you would just do 0.5 times by the MR, which is 98. So 0.5 times by 98 will give you 49 grams. Okay, so we're putting it into grams this time. So if we had the question, what does 2.4 moles of iron sulfate, which is this compound here, weigh? We would first have to calculate the MR, the relative formula mass of iron sulphate. So we've got to see what elements are in there, how many atoms of each element. So we've got two iron, we've got one, uh, three sulphur, three times one sulphur, and four times three, which is 12 oxygen. And using our periodic table on a data sheet, we can see the relative atomic masses of these elements so iron is 56 sulfur is 32 oxygen is 16 and using these we can work out that the relative formula mass of iron sulfate is 400 so the MR equals 400 and because MR in grams equals one mole we know that one mole equals 400 grams. In the question we've been asked what 2.4 moles is worth, so we do 2.4 moles times by 400 and we do that calculation on our calculator. We get 2.4 times by 400 which is 960 grams. And just to show you when to relate this to when you're balancing equations, when you're balancing equations, you put multipliers, so numbers, in front of compounds. And essentially what this is saying is you've got five moles of hydrogen chloride in the reaction because you're multiplying everything by five. So here are some questions for you to try out. You've got
but how much does 3 moles of calcium carbonate weigh? How much does 0.7 moles of barium nitrate weigh? And how many moles of water are shown above? Pause the video now and attempt these questions. So to calculate the MR of CaCO3, which is the first thing you have to do in these questions, you would have to work out how many Ca there were. There's one of those times by the relative atomic mass of calcium, which is 40, which you can find on the periodic table. Carbon is one of those multiplied by 12 and oxygen there's three of those multiplied by 16. If we add all of these up we get a total MR for calcium carbonate of 100. So one mole is 100 grams and the question asks us what three moles weigh so we just do three times 100 so that three moles equals 300 grams. For barium nitrate it says how much does 0.7 moles of barium nitrate weigh? Well again we need to calculate the MR of barium nitrate. So there's one barium at 1 times 137 2 nitrogen the mass of 14 each and 6 oxygen with a mass of 16 and altogether that has a total a relative formula mass of 261 so one mole of barium nitrate is 261 grams and the questions asked us what does 0.7 moles weigh so we do 0.7 times by 261 on the calculator and that equals 182.7 grams of barium nitrate and the final question says how many moles of water are shown above so because of this multiplier which is 2 this is depicting 2 moles of water so the answer is 2 moles. Very well done if you got all of those correct.